Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and today as you can already see we will be understanding show command. I've created a lot of videos on Pymol and how you can you know see the molecules, how you can create movies, scenes and all. I do recommend that you should watch all those videos before uh, you watch this one because in this one what, we'll be, uh, what we will be using is uh, we will be explaining different commands and how you can use these commands to actually get the output uh, from the Pymol very very effectively. So we'll start with the show command and show command in Pymol is used to display specific representations of atoms, residues, as well as chains and entire even entire molecules. So it will it will help highlight different aspects of the structure, such as a surface. You want to see the surface of the molecule. You want to see secondary structure. You want to see specific lichen molecules. This command can help you uh, to see or visualize all those uh, different parts of the molecules very very effectively. And you can also customize. Uh, the visualization. So now let's move on to the syntax of this command. This is uh, the syntax where you have show representation and then selection and state. These are the different parts of uh, the show command and, and this is the syntax where you will have first is a repre representation and then you have selection and then you have state. Let me explain this by showing this illustration. As you can see, a representation here means that uh, you want to represent your protein in the form of ligand sticks. Uh, sorry, not in the form of ligand, like, obviously, uh, in the form of lines, sticks, spheres, cartoon. And, you know, if you have seen the Pymol, if, if you're using Pymol, uh, you should already have a good idea about what, what is a line representation, what is a stick representation, sphere, as well as cartoon representation. So here you need to provide that information in the form of these words, right? And then next, selection. The next part of this command will be selection where you will be providing the uh, part of the molecule, then what part of the molecule you want to see in this particular representation, and then by default is the entire uh, molecule. So if you are not providing selection, it will take the entire molecule as uh, the default default information, default information, right? Next is the state. Sometimes what happens is various molecules, they can have different conformations. The same molecule uh, will have different conformation. For example, if you are doing molecular docking, you can get different poses. Those are your different states. And if you want to show that specific state, then you can write uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and whatever, how many states you have. So this is how you can uh, basically ex uh, explain the state uh, part of, of this show command. And uh, this, this completes the entire you know, command syntax. Uh, let's talk about the basic examples and then we will be using those examples in our tutorials also after after I'm done with this uh, presentation. So as you can see over here, I can use show cartoon and then you need comma sign and then space protein. In this one, what we are doing is we are trying to show cartoon representation of the protein that we have in our uh, system, right? Okay, so this can be used to show the cartoon representation of the protein molecule. Uh, next, let's move on to the second example where, in this case, what I'm doing is I'm trying to display a small molecule ligand as a stick representation. So in this case, what we are doing is we are using show, that is the uh, that is the keyword that we use in show command, the show, and then after that space sticks. So sticks is the specific representation. You can change it to uh, line also. You cannot have a uh, cartoon representation for the ligand because these are small molecules, right? So you cannot have secondary structure in this case. Then you will have R-E-S-N, right? And then R-E-S-N lig. Uh, this is the ligand, L-I-G, lig, short for the ligand. And what it will do, it will, it will select residues within the name of uh, lig, which uh, you know, represents a specific ligand structure. Uh, in the uh, in your uh, Pymol interface. Okay, next is next example is here. What I'm doing is I am trying to show different chains, specifically chain A, as a surface a surface representation in my protein structure. So maybe I do have multiple chains in my protein structure. I do have chain A. I do have chain B. So I want to represent chain A in the surface representation. So I can use this, and this will help me. Uh, to visualize my protein, uh, the surface of my protein, uh, specifically of the part which is chain A. And there are various representations that are available for you and then you can try them out. First is as line where uh, the atoms, they are connected by simple lines. In the stick, the line is a little bit thicker and I'll show you that, right? Next is spheres, basically round balls that you're going to see and uh, that renders atoms as spheres. And what are those spheres? They are highlighting the wonder wall interactions. Next is at cartoon, that is the secondary structure, alpha hel hel helices and beta sheets and loops. These are three different structures that are uh, secondary structures that are present in, uh, in your protein. Uh, obviously, as the name indicates, 
helix is the uh, you know helical structure then you have sheets sheet uh, like structure loops are uh, unstable structures and they are they are just like uh, forming different loops and they are mostly present in the in the uh, either in the sides or maybe in the starting or the end of the protein where protein is not that stable the surface shows the molecular surface based on the solvent uh, accessibility then you have ribbon representation it's a thin uh, kind of a flat uh, secondary structure representation then you have mesh representation and also dot representation all those representations are really really beautiful and they can they can really show a lot of molecular information uh, biophysical information of the protein based on your requirement right so i hope uh, now we have a very good idea of show command what are the different aspects of the show command and we are all set to go to the pymol tutorial and where i'll be showing you with a specific example and after that you should be able to use show command very very effectively in pymol okay all right so let's move on to the tutorial part of this all right everyone so let's let's start using those examples and let's start understanding how you can use those commands and what kind of output are you going to see in the pymol so this is uh, pymol i have opened the software and uh, i hope you already have this software installed because if you can follow along uh, there is a good chance that you will you will learn better uh, by just seeing this video uh, maybe you will understand a few things but uh, if you want to get 100% out of this video uh, my my advice says you follow along right so we'll start with getting the structure and uh, if you've seen my previous videos we use fetch command for this one which is f e t c h space and then the name of the the protein uh, especially the pdb id in this case uh, what i'm going to do is i will use 1h0m this is one of the receptor that uh, uh, you know is uh, is interested to me because i'm doing a lot of research in the area of quorum sensing uh, so uh, this is the receptor i'll be fetching with this you can directly use this command but you can also use another uh, part of this command which is a s y n c is equal to zero which says uh, that uh, you know it is going to wait to process anything else uh, and it's going to wait uh, uh, you know to get the structure from the pdp so you need uh, a successful internet connection for this and just press enter what what is going to happen that uh, it's going to yeah the, it's going to get the structure from pdb and you can directly get the structure and uh, have the structure uh, in your in your pi mole and you can see uh, this is a structure where you have dna molecule with protein molecules attached to the dna as well as you have uh, small molecules that are also attached to this particular protein so now we will use different commands especially uh, the different variations of show command right and then we'll understand how we can use uh, the show command and how we can get benefits all the benefits of show command okay so first of all since i have the structure so you can see on the right side you can see the the structure is right over here as you can see 1h0m is written and then you have a second tab which is all and this is uh, for the protein if you if you type over here and then uh, you can hide and uh, everything if you uh, just again type on this the structure will come back again right so let's do this let's go to edge and hide everything i'm not going to tell you hide command right now but i'm just telling you that you can hide everything from this uh, because we are focusing only on the show command so when when you hide everything so in pi mode what will happen if you show something it will remain there and then you have to hide that to show the another uh, uh, the another part of the protein so you have to apply show and hide so that uh, there is there is uh, you know clarity between what you want to see in pi mode okay so we'll start with the uh, uh, show sticks so for that what you have to do is s h o w which is show space stick if you remember that is what we have discussed right representation is the first part so in this case sticks and then comma and what you want to show by default it's it's the protein structure but i'm typing all so whatever is there in the structure it's going to be shown as the stick mode so the command was show sticks show space sticks comma space all so that is the command that you will be using make sure that you know you are following uh, everything correctly you are putting space where i'm mentioning space you are putting commas where i'm mentioning commas and all right so here you can see the model stick model is there you can see every individual component is represented with the stick model okay now let's hide this i'll go to h and hide everything because that is how it's going to work out if i if i apply another uh, you know representation what will happen it will be there but on the top of the already present uh, representation so in this case let's move on to the show uh, show space and cartoon and cartoon basically you will see 
secondary structure in the protein. So if I enter this one, now you can clearly see we have uh, secondary structures in the form of uh, helices, in the form of loop structures, as well as in the form of beta sheets that are somewhere in the center. And then you also have the DNA that you can actually see very, very clearly in this case. So uh, this is the second mode, which is the cartoon, uh, cartoon mode or cartoon representation. Next, let's move on to the third one, which is line representation. So I'll do hide everything. I'll go S H O W space lines, comma all. And then here it is. You can actually see the difference between the stick and the line is the thickness, as you can clearly see, this is much more thinner. That is why it's called line. And then in that case, you have uh, you have the uh, thick uh, bonds that, that are being represented in case of uh, the stick board, right? So it looks pretty crowded. So that is why you are not going to use sticks all the time. You're not going to use uh, lines all the time, all the time. But what you can do is you can uh, you can see the combination of all these things all together, right? Okay. So the next command that we will be using is show cartoon that we have already used mesh m e s h comma all. So in this case, what will happen is you can actually see the structure entire structure uh, in the in the mesh form looks very, very, uh, you know, very, very crowded. But if you apply in combination with other representations, it can look really, really good. So this is another uh, representation that you can use. I'm, I'm going to hide this one. And let's see another representation, which is sphere. So I'll type show space spheres, comma all. So in this case, you can see uh, the entire molecular uh, sphere, you can visualize the entire atom and and it is more like a globular kind of a structure, right? So if, if you are interested in, for some reason, uh, to see any of your structure in the, surf, uh, in the sphere representation, so this is the command that you should be using. Okay, so now let's move on to the second part where we will be seeing the ligand molecule. There are various ways in PyMol you can see the ligand molecule. I will tell you the way that I use. Uh, so what you can do is, first you need to see the sequence. To apply any command, you need some, uh, you know, attributes. So we'll be creating attributes uh, or we'll be creating objects in this case first. So as you can see, uh, since I've studied this structure, these are the four ligand molecules that we have. Okay, so these are the ligand molecules. Now, if you select the ligand molecules, what you can do is you can see select command already here. You can create uh, or rename selection. This is more like a manual mode, creating ligand uh, or ligand molecules. So now uh, you can see on the right right side ligand molecules, they are created. Uh, now anything you apply by typing ligand that will be applied only on these objects that we have created, right? So if we if we do this show sticks, space, after sticks comma ligand. Now everything that we are doing is applied to the ligand molecule. And if I zoom in, you can actually see four ligand molecules. So this crystal structure is basically a dimeric structure where you have, uh, or tetrameric structure where you have four proteins with their respective ligands. Okay, ligand molecules. All right. So you can then you can apply all those uh, specific show commands. For example, if you want to see show lines comma or, or ligand, uh, this will apply on this one. But I am not seeing the line because as I told you already, a line will be there but it's it's also rendered on uh, top of the stick so the stick is thicker so you are not able to see uh, the line mode although the line mode is still there right so how you can how you can fix this issue so for example this is uh, where you are seeing stick stick representation i will hide everything that is what i told you right so hide everything especially the uh, the ligands and then what you do is you apply again the command and then now here you can see the ligand molecule in a stick representation Okay, now let's move on to the third part of this one where we will be creating a new objects from the specific part of the protein. And I'll tell you what kind of uh, commands that you can use. Very, very helpful. I use these commands all the time. They are very, very helpful. They are very, very handy when it comes to the final image creation. So what I'll do is I'll delete uh, my, my ligand, uh, not delete, but uh, just hide it, uh, hide everything. So everything will be probably will be hidden by using hide for all. So now you can see it's all clear. 
no structure is there. Now, what we will be doing is I'm selecting a specific part of the protein. So I'll, I'll start with the select. So what I'm doing is at the same time, I'm showing you how to use select command and I will do, we'll do select. We will create the object uh, in the name of domain one and then comma. Now I will specifically mention uh, the part of of that particular uh, protein. So in this case, chain A and residues, uh, resi from one to 50 amino acids. So in this command, what is going to happen that it's going to create an object called domain A, dom domain one, which will have all the amino acids from one to 50 from chain A, right? So as you can see on the right side, I can see this domain uh, one object created. Similarly, I can create another object uh, uh, in the name of domain domain two. So for that, I will be typing select space domain domain two space not space but comma chain space a and resi fifty one to seventy six dash seventy six. So this will select all the residues from 51 to 76 from chain A and will create another domain, which is domain two. Now you can clearly see domain one and domain two right over here, right? Okay, so let's do this. Now let's show mesh for domain two. So in this case, what I've done is uh, I'm typing show space mesh comma space domain two and I'm pressing enter uh, and I have to uh, probably zoom visualize because what happens is and this this you will encounter all the time the structures when you hide everything you don't know where the structure is right but you can clearly see in this case your entire uh, region that we have selected as domain 2 uh, has this uh, only the mesh representation and then for the second one what we will be doing is we will be showing uh, the show sphere let's do spheres and domain one, domain no space one. Okay, clearly you can now see the second part of the protein um, has this representation, which is a sphere representation. Looks really nice. And then you can keep doing this with the different parts of the protein. And then wherever, whatever you want to show, you can select, you can create the object, you can apply show command, and then you should be able to see all those different parts in a nice, uh, uh, visualization uh, representations. Uh, I hope now uh, you already have a good idea that how you can get the structure out, how you can use the show command. I will also tell you a little bit about the select command at the same time, but I will surely make a detailed video on the select command so that uh, you know how to use, uh, correctly use the show command, right? Okay, so I hope everything is clear. And if you have any, any doubt, any question, then please do let me know in the comment section. And if you want to learn something uh, special, something unique, please, feel free to contact me anytime. I'll try my best to create those videos as well. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned. I will be bringing more content, very, very useful content for your research, for your projects. Thank you so much.